Hey guys, Gal Level here, and today I'm gonna show you how to customize your Twitch channel. We're gonna be going over how to change your profile picture, your banner, your description panels, and your offline image. If you don't already have those designs, don't worry, I'll show you how to get some customizable ones for free. So the first thing we want to do is go ahead and open up your Twitch page. Make sure you're logged in with your Twitch account, and this is what your Twitch channel should look like. I already have mine set up. I already have the description panels, I have the offline image, this is my avatar, and this is my banner. So we're going to start with the profile picture and the banner. On the top right, right, un right underneath the banner, you can click edit, and you can click here to either remove your avatar or upload a new image. If you upload a new image, you can drag and drop it from a folder or just click browse. I'm not going to change mine because um, I don't have those, those images on my computer. Anyways. So you can do the same for your banner. Upload new image or remove completely. And once you're done, don't forget to click on done. Good. So now that you have a profile picture in the banner, we're going to skip the offline image for now and we're going to go down here. So here you can see something that says channel feed beta. And what the channel feed is, is basically all the updates that you make on your dashboard before you go live you can have them show up uh, right there or not. I don't really like them because I kind of really like my my uh, panels. So how do you edit a panel? We're going to add a new one. Once you have once you click on add a new one, you should have this right there. So panel title. New. Panel. You can add an image or we'll add a random image. You can crop your image. So the panel title is what's going to show on top of the panel. Once you added your image, you can add a link. So when people click on the image, it will redirect them to this link. Um, so let's type in www.google.com. For example, okay, and here you have the description. This is a cool search engine. <laughs> One thing that is really important is that you have to click submit once you're done with the changes for it to take it into account. So we're gonna click submit. The button goes gray. And now if you want to see what it looks like, you turn off panels. Boom, new panel. That's our title, that's our image, that's our text, description. And if you click on this, for some reason it says twitch.tv slash google.com. I don't know why. Try to copy your link with the um, HTTPS format to make sure it works. Otherwise, Twitch will add a twitch.tv slash to it. So if you've been on other streamers channel, you will see that they have donations and stuff like that. This is how you link everything else. Like if you click on Twitter, this will bring you to my Twitter page. Now, one thing else I need to mention is that when you're editing your panels and you're adding text, blah, 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 there is a way to format this and it's called the markdown. It's not HTML, but it's another form of, of simple coding. And you can find all the information here. I'm not going to go over everything. And if you want to remove a panel altogether, all you have to do is click on remove and delete. There you go. And then you turn off edit panels so you can see what it looks like. Good. As you can see for me, I only used uh, mostly the images. I have like two text here, but I don't have a panel title because I don't like the formatting. Now I'm going to show you how to upload an offline image. First of all, go to your settings, go to channel and video. And right here, video player banner. This is displayed on the player when your channel is offline. And all you have to do is click choose file, upload something, and it will be uploaded there. Um, just like the submit button for the panels, you will have to scroll down and click save changes. It's really important. Profile changes have been saved and you're good to go. If you come back to your channel, 
It should be there. Now these are the basic things you can do to customize your Twitch channel. Now as I said in the intro, if you don't have any design, any profile pictures or banners already, I will show you how to get some customizable ones for free. All you have to do is type in Gumroad, gum like a piece of gun, a gum, <laughs> road.com slash and my tag, gal level. And it will bring you to this website where I uploaded a bunch of um, graphic design packs. Let's go ahead and download the first one. As you can see, we have um, several. And uh, oh, I'm sorry, this is in French, but what you have to do is go here in the price thing, put in zero if you don't want to pay. If you want to pay something for it, uh, well, thank you so much. And click I want this. And right here, you can click on pay for the one you selected. You click pay. It will ask you for an email. Once you entered your email, just click on get it. And then this will show up and you can click download and it should download it. See right there, it's downloading. Okay, let's open this up to see what's in it. It's in my downloads file. I'm going to extract it. So those are RAR files, but if I'm guessing if you're a geek, you probably have WinRAR. Click on it, open it up. And as you can see here, you will have an avatar picture, a camera overlay, an offline picture, a short break picture, a starting soon picture. A stream ending picture and your twitch banner and you will also have a bunch of panels so all you will have to do for example for the panels let's turn on edit panels go right there add image where was it download geometric um i have a discord for example let's click on discord Make sure to select everything. Now it's going to show there and you can link this to your discord. I don't have the link on me right now, but um, let's just link it to discord app. I'm going to copy control C. Paste it in there and say, this is my discord server. Click submit, make sure it takes it into account and then turn off editing. Scroll down and boom, there you have it. You don't have to type a text. That's um, what I used here. But if you want to, you can describe what the link is about. And if someone clicks on it, brings you to the Discord page. Awesome. Now, last thing I want to show you is how to get your name to show because um, those are customizable, but you don't know how to customize them if you have photoshop it should be pretty easy all you have to do is select the text tool and put in your name right there if you have a picture you want to put instead just put it there this is a square this is the camera overlay your over your camera is supposed to go there same thing for the rest and for the panels i even added a blank one so all you have to do is type in whatever you want to put in with a white text and it should blend in with the others. Now, if you really don't have Photoshop and you think that there is no way for you to design those, to customize them, I'm gonna show you how easy it is, for example, to do it in Microsoft Paint. So that's it guys. This is how you can customize your Twitch channel so it looks a little bit more professional. If people get on your channel when you're offline, they can see something and they can uh, communicate with you if you have uh, banners that link to your social media and all that stuff. If you have any questions, feel free to let them in the comment section below and I'll see you guys next time. Subscribe for more.